Kia ora koutou, BDO tourism sector leader Richie O'Meara is here with me today to talk about the April 2023 findings for the BDO Wellbeing and Business Performance Index, Te Rangaho o Ngā Hauora Pai. Now this unique biannual survey looks specifically at the relationship between business performance and well-being among New Zealand's business leaders. Kia ora Richie, thank you so much for joining us. Now I'm really keen to hear your insights and tips for tourism business leaders. But first of all, what's the index showing us this time for tourism business? Hi Wilhelmina, thanks for having me. Who would have had a tourism business uh, some six months ago? Um, if we think about the contrast between where we are now and where we were even six months ago, it's just worlds apart. And that's been reflected in the latest stats that we've seen. Um, we saw in the latest index that tourism business leaders scored 66 out of 100 on the WHO 5 index in our April 23 results, an increase of four points from October 22 and some four points higher than our whole of business average, reflecting the improving market conditions the sector is experiencing. There's a generally positive outlook for tourism with 70% of business leaders saying that they expect to feel positive about their business performance most of the time. And this is up hugely from the measure of just 10% back in October. Tourism leaders also have one of the strongest future outlooks for life satisfaction with 71% expecting to feel generally satisfied with life. So tourism sounds like it's going relatively well, which is great news. What's your key take out from this? Well, when you're literally at the bottom, as happened to most tourism businesses over COVID, really the only way is up, and this is reflected in the latest index results. We've seen strong visitation coming back into the market, not always to pre-COVID levels in, in some areas, but certainly more than we've seen for some years. There's been strong cash flow and an improved yield as a result of the changing demographic of visitors, with more tourists coming in from European, North American and Australian markets who typically tend to spend more here than some other markets. Staffing levels for unskilled positions have genuinely improved, enabling businesses to return to some, their full operational levels, though we note that some skilled positions are, are still difficult to fill. And what are you seeing in the market from your own personal interactions with clients? Yeah, we've seen clients genuinely performing very well, with record setting results being generated. This has been driven not just from the visitation numbers themselves, but the strong yield being generated from those visitors, which is, which is great. A number of our clients, though, are carrying significantly higher levels of debt than they would typically, and that's this just part of the COVID hangover. Now that cash flows have improved, banks are genuinely, understandably, wanting those debts repaid. And in turn, this can mean that operators are not having cash flows as strong as what they would typically be seeing in these periods, which just requires further management. Inflation is obviously an issue, particularly wage inflation has been a major impact to earnings, though typically most operators we're dealing with have been able to offset that through the improved yield being generated from visitors. So we're seeing business financials are a key cause of negative well-being. What are your tips for tourism business leaders to help alleviate some of that stress? Yeah, we know that a strong plan underpins the core elements of a successful business. It enables you to step back and make decisions more effectively for the period ahead, helping you understand what drives success and helps focus you on maximising those elements. Generally, feeling like you're in control of your situation and understanding it will help you feel better about things and reduce those stress levels. Don't try to take everything on yourself. We, we just see this all too often, but it's so key to build a good team around you and ensure there's accountability and clear communication to enable trust to grow in that team delegate effectively to help address your own workload levels. And, and of course, we'd say work closely with your advisors. Tap into their insights and knowledge to help improve your own understanding. This is what they're here to do, and the good ones have great skills in this area, but it's hard for them to help unless they're asked. Thank you so much for your time, Richie. Some really wonderful information there for tourism businesses. Finally, where can tourism business leaders go to for more help and more support when they need it? Yeah, we'd recommend viewers read the Wellbeing and Tourism Business Sector Report on the website, which features a range of financial and business tips. Many insights are applicable across sectors, so we encourage viewers to re also read the detail in the broader BDO Wellbeing and Business Report. You'll also see on screen a range of wellbeing experts that you can reach out to. Some fantastic tips and advice there that'll be really useful for a lot of business leaders. Thank you so much for your time, Richie. It's been wonderful to talk. Thanks, Willamina.